Coach, year number 12, you got to be excited, but I think you like this team in particular because of the blend of the nucleus of players you got with the four newcomers. I'm very excited about this team. Uh, obviously, opening day is always uh, a great day to start a season, and, uh, and so we're certainly excited. But uh, I really like this team, John. I like them a lot. Uh, eight returning players. They feel like it, uh, that they've been here, the experience has shown. Uh, you know, they've gotten better. Uh, and then four new guys who all are going to contribute and help. So uh, you mix it all together and it uh, looks good so far. I want to ask you about two of the returning players in particular. What strides have Russell Harrison and Thomas Howell made during the offseason? Uh, both of them have gotten a lot better. Uh, you know, Russell Harrison has really uh, learned how, I think, uh, to let the game come to him more. He's been more confident. He's been more efficient uh, doing that. That comes with experience. We had such an inexperienced team last year. We said it all the time. And now we've got an experienced team, and he's he's proof of that. So I think that uh, he's learned how to let the game come to him, and uh, uh, it's really showing out there. Thomas Howell's gotten a lot better. And uh, uh, we've put him in a position this year in off, on offense that I think is going to really help him. Uh, he's a lot more confident. Confidence is the big key for uh, – for Thomas and you know sometimes as a freshman last year he was a little unconfident wasn't sure uh, what to do at times and should he go try to make a play or should he make this pass and that's kind of all going out now you can see him maturing right in front of our eyes uh, he's been pleasant to watch as well you mentioned though the experience that you have and that's something you haven't had in the past if you look down that roster you see Primo Zier, Langston Powell, uh, Luke Phillips those guys have all played a lot of minutes for you, so that's got to help, though, too, to transition with the newcomers. We have a very experienced team this year, and you just talked about a new number of those guys. All these returning players uh, have gained experience from last year and, and more practice this year, the summer, uh, and it shows on the floor. And then I also want to mention the four uh, of the four new players we got, two of them are grad transfers. You can't believe how much Division One basketball they've already played. Right. This is their fifth year, and uh, uh, you know, so there's a lot of Division One minutes on our team, and I really think that's going to bode well for us this year. We we'll talked about two year newcomers with uh, Andre Jones and Nika Metz. What can the fans expect to see from them? Well, Andre, uh, I saw him in high school. It's been five, six years ago, and, and it, we were, I was actually in Las Vegas, and. Uh, reached over to my assistant and said, uh, now that's athletic, okay? I don't know what you think athletic is, but that's athletic. And, uh, you know, he's been in the Sun Belt before. He's played uh, at Little Rock, played on at Nickel State the last two years on two 20-win teams. Started, averaged double figures. He's a good player now, and, and I don't, you don't hear me say that all the time. You know, I let him prove it a, a lot of times before I say something. He's a good player. Our fans are going to really uh, enjoy watching him. 6'4", can play the 1, 2, or 3. Very athletic, very skilled, dribble and pass, great energy. Uh, I, I really like him a lot. And, uh, you know, you, mean, you mentioned Nika. Uh, he's a foreign kid. Uh, very, as typical foreign kids are at that size, he can dribble, pass, and shoot uh, for his size, which is nice. We're spreading him out on the floor some and, and uh, uh, he's getting used to the speed and strength of, the, of Division One. He's going through that process right now, but, but doing very well. Also want to mention uh, Reginald G, another grad transfer, started for Austin P the last two years. He's come in here and done really well as well. A scoring wing player, uh, you know, he's 6'3", 230 pounds. I've been griping about skinny guys for about three years. <laughs> And I got me a big guard. I'm going to tell you, when he drives it in there, you feel him now. And uh, we're excited about having him. Your, your preference has always been up-tempo basketball. It sounds like when you talk about this team, you've got the personnel to fit that style of play. This could be a very fast team again, much like we had three years ago. If you remember with Deshaun Smith's senior year uh, here, that team was very fast, athletic. This team has a lot uh, uh, of those uh, attributes. Uh, but they're a, little, they're a little bigger at the guard spots, a little bigger and stronger. Uh, we got some of that going on. But, yeah, I think we're going to be able to put some points on the board, and uh, that always makes the coach happy, I can tell you that. Is that what excites you the most, the, the scoring potential for this team? Yes. And, and, and you know, one of the reasons, John, is, is – and, and, and all coaches, you know, everybody talks about defense, and, and you, you got to play good defense to win championships. You, you hear all that. But 
Three years ago, we finished first in the league uh, in offense. We were, we were literally the best team in the league, uh, offensively speaking. The last two years, we've been dead last in offense. And I had a lot more fun three years ago, and so did you. And so did the players. And so, you know, we got a team I think is going to be able to put some points on the board. Uh, and, you know, we'll get better defensively as we go. I, th I think we got a real chance to surprise a lot of people in the Sun Belt.